What's happening? I'm Quavo Huncho. Today we'll be talking about my album, Rocket Power. Uh, Rocket Power means a lot to me. It means everything to me. Um, just like just being fueled by my brother, Tate, um, and just you know, just bottling in all these, all these emotions, all the pain, all the heart, all the hard times, all the times I cried, and all the times I just made music and just, just to pull up and try to play songs, and he not there. I'm just trying to get this fuel from above and this fuel from the sky, and just call it rocket power. Um, in the studio, I got this plaque um, of Take, and his eyes is is on the side of is like it's on the side of the studio. So when, every time I record, I look over and just see his eyes looking at me. And I ain't want to call it nothing to you know dwell upon what we have going on. I wanted to uplift it, and I wanted to be something you know to be still proud of, and at the same time, just let them know that. This power is not coming from me, it's coming from, you know what I'm saying, the rocket. Favorite song on the album is called 1111. It's the, um, it's the day, you know, we had the, the going away and, and it's just very dear to me, I feel like. Matter of fact, when I did the song, it was 1111 when I like completely recorded and we started pressing play and playing it. And I just felt like it was a sign for him. So that's my favorite song. Mm. No, I hear him, I hear him. I, I always smile, because that's stuff that we talk about. We always talked about that when we just sit back and get high and just relax. We always talk about energies. We always talk about don't let people know what you're doing. If you let them know what they're doing, it ain't gonna happen. So like when, when stuff like good spirit stuff, I feel him, I know he is. I know he around. Mm. I was at the game last night, and I was just sitting and thinking and watching the game. I was like, man, man, I wish this man was here. And soon as, soon as, like, like I swear to God, I'm not playing. I, I, I didn't even want to look at Bron because he came and sat in on the bench, and I was like, I'm just gonna keep my eyes straight. I'm not gonna look at him. But I had my glasses on, so I did like look there, but I kept my face straight. And when I, when he. Cut his eyes at me. Hotel lobby came right on. Wow. And the song and the song played, and I and I just rubbed my chest. And I was just watching the game. I see a lot of numbers, like a lot of like numbers in the pattern all the time. That's how I know you can you know communicate with me like that. I shouldn't have said that, but I think that's my only way that I talk to him. Like I see like triple fours and triple twos and triple threes and sometimes it don't even be on your phone. It's like, it can be on a truck and I just look it up and it's a whole thing and you just read it. Like sometimes I'm, like I was playing an album one time, I seen a whole number, another like four numbers all together. And um, I was feeling like the album went all the way good. And then I read what, for whatever the number, I forgot what number it said. I got it in my phone. And it was like, when you unsure and feeling like you uncertain, just go ahead and go. And I was like, damn. And I was just, all right, this album is great. You know what I'm saying? But I always do that because I, you, we used to always, I always had to make this kind of like songs in the studio. I would make them always first, like Hotel Lobby. I used to do that. Um, all the songs, like every Migo record, I come down and I, I like record the hook and the verse and then I go play it for the boys and they tell me what's, you know what I'm saying, what's going and what they like and what they gonna get on and then we'll take it to like the album. So that's how we finish it. So now he's gone and I don't have nobody, to, you know, to play the music for. So now I just like, just try to connect with the earth and just try to hear them like that. But I don't, I don't really like nobody else's opinion because they don't know how. <laughs> you can't tell me yeah or no. Like, it don't make no sense. I got to let the rocket hear it. 
And that's how I feel. Yep. And now I can hear him now. It's like, you better not change none of this shit. <laughs> I know how he is. Isolate yourself. Um, Sometimes being around people, you don't, you don't really kind of know, especially in a space where you kind of like down or, or feeling vulnerable. You don't know if they kind of like still trying to keep you there or uplift you even if they say positive things. So you got to find like a, a spot within yourself where you can handle like all all words, all comments, all opinions. And once you, you know, get with that, then you can come outside and get around people so then, then it don't really affect you. Um, for an example, like I went to the Super Bowl and I heard someone yell something crazy and it took me everything in the world and I just want to smash his face in because he said something just wow. But I just knew like, I know and you know, God know where, where we at in life and what's, what actually went on and what I seen, I just feel like it was another test to like see where I was at physically and mentally, you know, and I just walked in the game and came back out. I'm just like, okay, cool. Sometimes, like when you see people, like when you see things that tests you, and when you see, and you're not ready, and you're going through pain, you, it can it can put you in a messed up place. It can put you in a bad place. And right now, I'm just bottled up, and I feel like, like I said, I feel like it's just rocket power. It's like with a rocket, you just hold all the energy, hold all the tears, hold all the emotion in one spot. Let it all come out in a in a space of like artistry or somewhere you like, you know, where you want to express yourself at, not like not going crazy and it's just saying you don't give a fuck about life, you know? Because it, it, it puts you in that. It puts you in a spot where you don't give a fuck about life. That's how I felt. And now I know I, I got a bigger purpose. We got a bigger purpose for that. And he got he got more purpose and I got to be out here to work for him. And I'm just, I'm just, like I said, I'm just an instrument now. You know? Listen, come as you are and leave as you go, side. You know, just nice, calm, and collective. Observe everything. Um, keep a lot of things quiet. Keep a lot of things to yourself. Um, uh, A lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff, man. I just, I miss him a lot, and I love him. He know I love him. That's what we always know. So like, when, when you see me and see me smiling or nothing, or something like that, and you don't gotta never think like, I forgot about him or I forget about him. I think about him all the time. Sometimes I cry myself to sleep. You know, and that's it. And I just. I just know he here, I know I can't, if I can't feel him, I just know he around, he do, he just do all type of crazy things. I know I'm not, I don't even like calling it crazy no more. I don't even say the word that's crazy. I don't say stuff like that no more because it's dead serious, it's real, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we, weren't never, we weren't never really on demon time from the jump. Like, you know, Tate used to always talk about God, talk about how we was blessed and, you know, um, same thing with Seth, like, he even, he, we don't even like when we see like upside down crosses and stuff like that. That was like just coming in. Like we always just been like pro, pro, pro Lord, pro Jesus, pro everything. But right now I feel like he used me as an instrument so we can, you know, get the message across. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm just floating. You know what I'm saying? I'm grown. I'm a grown man. You know, and I just feel like. I'm here for a reason, and once I get my job done, we all gotta go, you know? So I'm just here till, till the job is done and so I can get back with my boy. Lately, I've been going like to the islands and in the water, in the ocean. I feel like the ocean has got a lot of power. Can't nobody stop it, don't nobody understand it. And I feel like, yeah, that's the ocean and just putting sand in my feet, feeling, touching the energy. Like take my socks off, put my feet in the grass, and just kick it. <laughs>
That's it. I use a couple unreleased verses, but I want to keep his stuff very, very, very sacred right now for his project. I don't want to be pulling the stuff and then we get to his project and not like know what to do. And I've been on used stuff, so I, and and knowing him, he like he want his shit right. He want his shit right and hold it. So like I stay away from it. I just be hearing him talk to me all the time. Just be like keep like he's just so sacred and like quiet and keep his stuff to him. So I just like leave it alone and take what I got, take what we did together and be creative with a lot of other like verses and quotes he always said. Some about take verses right now is just like so ahead of his time. It's like right now, every time. It's like he just did it, like all the verses. So like when his album come, it's gonna be like the last person I, like the only person that was, that went crazy like after, after they went away. It's like Pop, Pop Smoke had a great album, and Tupac. They kind of like just Pop went out long enough, so he couldn't like keep a lot of the stuff. So I I would like put like Take and Tupac as far as like catalog and like a whole bunch of music in the vault, and just you probably can drop music for the next 10, 15 years. Wow. Um, in this phone alone, it's one hundred and fifty songs. Um, and that's in the phone, just in the phone. So on like every phone probably got like 350 songs each phone. Wow. Got like five phones. He got like three phones. He got songs I even I never even heard. I'm like, bro, why you never played me this? It's this song called Man, I will get to his app. It's crazy. He 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 man, he got this song called Put That Shit On. And man. I'm so mad that it didn't go on only built for Infinity Leaves. <laughs> I'm like, bro, why did he didn't do that? I'm like, Silent Assassin, he saved it for a reason. I got you, though. I'm going to finish strong. We're going to finish strong. That's, not, that's light. That's just in the phone. We probably got like a thousand songs in, in it. That's just light. We got a lot of songs. I don't even know how, to, how, to, how many we got. Decisions right now is super, super hard because for sure I always brought it to take and be like, yo, yo, even if I had something for myself, I always just brought it to him and be like, yo, I got to go somewhere, I'm finna do this, that, and the other. He'll check and see if he want to, I even ask him if he want to come with me regardless. And um, just like for real, bro, just it's my first time ever, 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 ever in life just being by myself. Like that's, and that's just, just a tough thing to see and a tough thing to battle, but it's kind of it's kind of very very different. Like I used to always talk to people, be like, "How you live by yourself? How you walk and go check the mailbox and go down up the street?" Like I never I never done it. Now I'm just in the crib and I just sit back and just I do a lot of thinking, just a lot of meditating. I don't know if it's I guess this is my therapy session right here. <laughs> yeah, but I just do a lot of just chilling and meditating. And if I get like too upset, I just go find a beat and make some music. One thing about it, I always just try to go to the gym. I call that the gym, like the studio, and just always just try to like, it's gonna make the hours go by, it's gonna make the days go faster than make the next day be you know, be a phone call or somewhere I gotta go somewhere. Just I just try to stay, stay, keep my mind like out of idle position to be where I can just say, man, you can go crazy. What you gonna do without getting no answer from tech? You, you know what I'm saying? You can lose your mind. You can, and all those things be going through my head all the time. And all I gotta do is just go to, go right to the to the microphone. That's what I'm saying. I ain't, I never been alone. So at the same time, it's like, damn, you kind of. And I ain't saying it like on some like, me and Take. I ain't never like I when I was in the house. I'm like, damn, why me and Take ain't never been in this house like this by ourselves? It was just always people. It was just always people. You know, like sometimes, bro, you you need you. We got to have that. We got to have that, bro. As humans, you know, what I'm saying everybody need to go. You know, and and when people do like when that's when like 
blessing blockers, I guess, like coming your way. It's like you be trying to figure out why you're not going all the way there. It's just some, it's something in the way, and everybody talking positive, and everybody doing what we need to do, and you know, like handling their business, trying to get me there on time. It's just still, you feel what I'm saying? And one thing I think is like he got a song called Reveal Him. And that's like, it's like they mass is, is all the way off. So when I see people now, it's just like, bro, you can't, you can't work nothing on me right now. So it's best for me to just, you know, go on on on. If, if I want to smile, I'll smile, but you can't work nothing on me right now. You know, and that's how I feel. And I see it like that. I can be a hundred deep right now. This whole studio can be full. Easy. I mean, it's just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Just, I don't know. I guess I ain't ready for that right now. I guess I don't need it. I don't know. When I go home, I just kick it, chill, watch TV, go down there in the basement. I, like that basement, man, when we go, when we get our ideas down there and like, I feel like that's the spot where we ex execute our plan. We always talk about the basement. Just right now, just feel my boy energy. He got his chair over there. He just be kicking it. And I always kick it with him. People don't understand, I be, I be there. You know what I'm saying? I be there in the house, make sure all this stuff is straight, making sure all this jewelry is clean, you know, just, Still making sure it's still taking care of his cars and all that, like, and so so some sometimes when I see people do stuff like that, like the other stuff where they just repping my boy, I understand that he, you know, means a lot to y'all lyrically and musically. But this is my nephew, you know what I'm saying? This this is my this is like I raised this man, so can't nobody tell me how to. You know what I'm saying? Love what to talk about, what to say, what to do, how to do it, about like anything I'm I'm with, he with it. All the way out. From him to his mama, my mama, mama take, mama rocket, the whole family, all the ladies, all the girls, is it's us. You know what I'm saying? It ain't anything else you see, which is nice and cool, we love it to death, but this is us. This is the family and like this is what we came from. This is this is us.